My name is Cord Sangsteak, and I'm a design engineer here at Sheldon Manufacturing. Today, we're going to be introducing the Batron 400 High Performance Anaerobic Chamber. The Batron 400 fills a crucial role in cultivating anaerobic organisms for microbiology and clinical research. It features a spacious design, user-friendly controls, and precise anaerobic environment. Let's take a look at some of the features inside the unit. First, to set this apart from the other Batron line, it features our new easy open front flange system. I'll show you how to get it open. First, you take off both arm port doors. They slot directly into a shelf located beneath the incubator. Next, you need to undo each one of these 10 black tabs. Last, you disconnect the vacuum tube. Now it's ready to open. This flange allows ease of cleaning and ease of introduction of very large pieces of equipment that you want to have inside without having to completely remove the front flange. As with our other Batron products, it features a, a pass box. This uses vacuum and gas purging to allow the user to introduce petri dishes, flasks, other types of samples or equipment into the unit while it is anaerobic. Next, we'll discuss our catalyst assembly. Located here is the palladium catalyst. It scrubs oxygen from the workspace while it's in operation. In addition to this, Batron 400 is a activated carbon scrubber also within this assembly. This will remove uh, volatile organic compounds that are produced while you're culturing samples. We also have a HEPA filter located here. This will, this will scrub the inside of the chamber um, while it is in operation. For details on clean room status, please visit our website. Then we have our convenience outlet. This is uh, used to power any auxiliary devices that you wanna have inside the chamber while it's in operation. Coming over here, we have our incubator. Features easy slide doors and three shelves. This has enough capacity for 400 standard size Petri dishes. Coming over here, we have our manometer assembly. Similar to the other Batron line, it, it helps keep a half inch of water pressure inside the unit. Any gas, any overpressure or extra gas will get vented out the back. Last, we have our single petri dish entry, which we'll discuss in a second. Now, let's get the chamber closed back up and take a look around the unit. First, we'll look at the left side. Located on the left side of the unit are a couple features. First, is the SD card access. There are multiple ways to uh, retrieve data logged by the Bactron 400. One of them being an SD card that you can slot right into here. Um, this allows the user to put in uh, a high capacity, i.e. 128 gigabytes higher, um, to log many, many data points. Over here is our OTL uh, dial. This is a safety feature that cuts off temperature to the, to the elements should an overheating event occur. Higher up are AMG and N2 inlet. The, the unit is capable of operating using both AMG and nitrogen, which will save money, or solely AMG. Uh, the, the unit is, is ready out of the box to accommodate both scenarios. Now, let's take a look at the right side of the unit. Spinning around, the first thing that you will notice is the single Petri dish entry from before. That is this black door here. It has been designed specifically for this product to allow ease of introducing one Petri dish at a time while maintaining atmospheric integrity within the unit. Over here, you will find the standard KF40 flange. Uh, this is used in, as an expansion port. So should you wanna have any uh, cable pass-throughs, uh, anything like that uh, running from outside to inside the unit, this will allow you to do that while keeping the atmosphere. Coming around in the back of the unit, we first see the main electronics panel. First, you'll see the power switch. This is used to turn the unit on or off. 
below, you have the main power inlet. This product must be connected to a properly grounded electrical outlet using the power cord included with the unit. The fuse is externally located should the end user need to replace it. Located below, you have an additional power inlet for the, uh, for the convenience outlet located inside the unit. This also has an externally located fuse. Below, you have the vacuum fuse. Uh, it is also externally located should you need to replace it. And last, the foot switch connection. This is where you, you are able to connect the included foot switch to where you can do hands-free operation of the sleeves. Last, you have an ethernet port. This is, this is allow you to uh, data log or export remotely to the network. Additionally, you will find the vent valve. This is connected to the manometer. Any overpressure within the unit will get vented out the back. Once the unit's been connected to a properly grounded electrical outlet, it is ready to be powered on using the switch on the back of the unit. After a moment, the digital touchscreen will become available. There are four main quadrants to the, to the touchscreen. First, you will see the workspace. This monitors oxygen content within the chamber, as well as is used to initiate any commissioning cycle for the unit. Moving over here, we have the incubator quadrant. This allows you to both monitor the temperature within the incubator and change the set point as you see fit. It also monitors humidity. Below that, you will find the sleeve corner. This is used to monitor and initiate uh, sleeve cycles for the vacuum sleeves. Next, we have the, uh, the pass box screen. Similar to the sleeve screen, this is used to monitor and initiate uh, commissioning cycles for the vacuum pass box. Additionally, you will see various uh, warning symbols that are detailed in our user manual, as well as full settings pages to where you can find information about the unit, such as serial number, firmware number, et cetera, as well as change things such as data log settings. Last, this unit has a freeway adjustable light assembly using this button on screen here. Anaerobic workstations like the Baxtron 400 HP are invaluable tools for ensuring precise and contamination-free research environments. By maintaining a stable, oxygen-free atmosphere, these workstations enable groundbreaking research across diverse scientific fields.